just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago, boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying, fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in off a loss in the open last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they come off a good win in the opener on the road, and they get a second road game here. Yeah, the schedule makers can never do many favors, but if they can win here and get the two on the road, they can be well set up for the rest of the year. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be led out by their quarterback in his fifth season now, the former number two overall pick, Carson Wentz. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense, and hopefully the offense brings a receiver or two free. Intended for I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. John there weren't Johnson really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the Number 26, Miles Sanders. The That's a good start to this drive on the right defensive side of the ball. First in, completion on first down. We're able to shut down the running play in second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure putting the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Cameron Johnston to the punt for the Cameron Eagle. Johnston to boot it away. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Personal foul. Referee the kicker. Defense. Come on, man. Set the go. You better do something. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent. Just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough it, his body's hitting the ground and flying all Taken different places. The, and the difference is five yards, two yards from 15. On the and in this it's case, that's a big play. The numbers for Sanders last week. 18 carries, 5 yards past 100, and a touchdown. That's complete to a speedy wide end. Good one. Well, they set a nice tone to week one. He's one of the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him with football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's got the first down. He urges and takes it down to the 49. For an eagle. An eagle first down. Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. First 10 at the 49-yard line. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. And let's listen in on the call. Holding offense. Man, this is ridiculous, man. So on the big tight end, hold it. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And he is at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Aaron Donald on the stop. No gain on the play there. No second the down. Brings up second down at the 41-yard line. Throwing on second and long. Wentz, and complete to Zach Ertz. Wentz's pass. The reception, good for seven. Zach Ertz. It's third down. It's a game of a big seven. window to throw. Brings Coverage up wasn't too bad there. 13. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, and they're looking at a third and long. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away. It down and can't wait. Wait on the jump ball. early message that this Cameron secondary is Johnson going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. Yeah, great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. 
The Rams ready to take over on offense, and they will do so by the first overall pick in the 2016 draft. Now he's in season number five out of Cal. It's Jared Goff. So this is when we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is... Take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try to create some space. Now Goff on first down. A hit as he throws there incomplete. That's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. In that time, the Rams will get in there and influence the game. Remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the time that they can fall back on anymore. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First down, Rams. But when you think of the Rams and their passing game, sometimes Robert Woods gets overlooked. But if I told you he led the team in targets for the last two years and had 139 last year, would you be surprised? Probably. But now with Brandon Cooks gone from the roster, they'll look in his direction maybe even more. And I just love the intensity that he plays the game with. Goff's throw here finds Woods. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. It's a gain of 20. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish them off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. First carry now for the Memphis man, Daryl Henderson. And across the midfield stripe into Daryl Henderson, the LA ball It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and 48-yard line. A you often see that pickup. sort of opens the Brings playbook now, second, second and, and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. <laughs> From just shy of midfield, ball. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And Josh he's out of bounds as he gets this down to Josh Reynolds. Four yards, the pick up, first down. First down, Los Angeles. On first down, gone. Let's take it in, complete to Reynolds. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of Josh yards, Reynolds. and now they're dealing with a second and long. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. And hang on third down. Well, certainly the Bills are going to try to keep getting into the football. It's the third time they've worked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Well, that's what you're going to need to do he against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. The Eagles take over first and ten at their own 27-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football. One the the trade is pressure one. Here. one. Win first down, make five, six, six seven yards on first down, no and on make it play. a second and three, second, second and manageable. Down. Keep that accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after the last completion gets him six. And he connects with Ertz. And he will have a first down here. Good. 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 The Eagle first down there wins to Ertz and aims it in and tees it in. At the 40-yard line. 
first and ten at Sanders. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Oh, that's a big play there by Aaron Donald. He's the NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2017 and 18. We know he can rush the passer. He's also dominant in the run game. The quickness for a man his size often defeats the offensive lineman trying to block him. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for not on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They feel pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys that just gave up that play. Yeah, he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he brought down at the 48 yard line. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. First and ten at the 48 yard line. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Man open. It's Goodwin. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And some nice running. Going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 35. Seven yards there on a first down. At the 35 yard line. Just assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, and their loss. Had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you always like to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're going to do it consistently here. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. 31 yard line. Throwing again on second down. Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. We're scoreless. The end of the run. Order with no score. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Shotgun now for Wentz. Throw left side caught by Goodwin. Wentz is a game of six there on the first. To Marquise Goodwin. Never make the mistake of the smart receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching four. here. They're just the quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness yeah. and speed. And they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. And this is caught. The touchdown. Marquise Goodwin. Marquise Goodwin. His first touchdown of the new season. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Second and five. Out of the gun, they give to Henderson. And he'll be brought down right at midfield. After a gain or two of ball carrier. He was taken by one of those defensive tackles in the game. He's been a pro for the last five years running. And you run against Fletcher Cox. Good luck. Now the 
the six-year man from Texas. This is Malcolm Brown. And he will have the first Malcolm down as he gets this area. to the 47. The tackle made. It's a first down, hurtling a gain of three. It's a gain of three. First down, Rams. Golf on first down. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Pass. And they'll get him down Pass. after the pickup of eight. Cooper second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings Facing a second and two, two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now gone. And he's going to go down. Right in the field. Discussion in the offseason about him having a big year and getting to the quarterback. They held him without a sack in week one, but how about here? I think it's his first one of the season. In the offseason, said he changed his diet leaner, feels so good this year. Excited to see what type of a season he can have. So Gordon, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. Ball. He'll get this underneath to Henderson. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Here's Johnny, Johnny Hecker now. Now. And he's going to punt it away for the second time. And this is going to hit the goal line the and Eagles continue on into the end zone. Down. For a touchback. At their own 20 yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Taken Officially down. no right gain on the play. And it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up stop second no gain. Brings up second and 10 for the 20. Line. The perennial pro runner Aaron Donald gets the sack. Yard loss on the play. This offensive line has struggled with that first down. down with the coach. He said it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this one. Right but it's fourth one of the money routes for any offense. Cameron the drag route. So tough to eight. defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. I love the communication we saw there. The the Rams the Rams over the first receiver, where he was going, and, and then able to rally to the line. ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and ten at their own 37. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And some space here. The 40. Past the 20. Touchdown, L.A. Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown. 63 yards. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Sam Sloan now the extra for point. the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter that number two. The game. I'm not sure seven. if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25. Yeah, actually, the 26 officially, so a net gain of way there. Yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And in the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. John move Johnson. the ball at least a few times on He's offense, get a couple of first downs. Brings up and hopefully put the field up. There's something to the Philly offense we're looking for here. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Troy Hill picks it, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. By the Rams. 
They'll take over. Brandon, this is a real nice yeah. job defensively of getting inside the quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. The Rams offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in. Because I think they are ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done. But to allow a run of that way, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys? And we'll see Complete how determined they are. That one a first down pickup pick of eight. Pick first down, Rams. On first down, it's gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. A gain of six there Cross. on first. Complete to Josh Reynolds. They don't need to run another play here it's before the two-minute warning. Brings up see if they do it anyway. At the 16 yard down. line. It's Brown. He will push his way down to about the 14. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman at our stats and scores for the NFL in the second week of the regular season. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown. To Josh Reynolds. Touchdown. Josh Reynolds. His second touchdown on the season. And the Rams have taken the lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single Sam one of the guys Sloman who's going to touch the, the football, point. they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Good. Extra point makes right the down score, the middle. Rams and that makes 14. the score 14 to 7. 7. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no call. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Carson Wentz. Picks up his by second Aaron sack Donald. of the afternoon. After the sack on first down, Wentz. And he will find his man on the end round. Complete. Complete. Get to the line. He remembers also third down. A gain of 14 yards. From the gun on third, third down. Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there the enough to jar that ball free. free. And it brings up fourth down. Sets up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time. No the penalty. Over and before this drive can get wings, it's fourth their down. Own Jared line. Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. First and ten, gone. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there. In ten and a second down. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second, second and, and ten. From the gun, here's gone. Again, he targets Cup, and this time he's got it. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing again is gone. They'll get this one to cop complete. 
They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a game of six. Burning of six there on first. A six-yard pickup. The ball on the 30, here's second and four. At the Eagles' 30-yard line. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reynolds. Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go in the fourth halftime. First down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left half. His kick is good. The kick is and they good. They move up by 10 now. Make 17 to 7. 17. Eagles 7. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And the tackle going to be made right there the at the 25 yard line. Yeah. At their own 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will it be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And in the second quarter, it's the Bears who are out in front. Nick Foles with a couple of touchdown passes. From Chicago, we head north to the home of their rivals, as we check on the Packers at home in Lambeau. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Aaron Rodgers with two touchdown passes. Finally, we'll save the biggest for last. We head to AT&T Stadium to see what's happening with the Cowboys at home in Arlington. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Two touchdown passes there for the former MVP, Matt Ryan. In the game you're watching, it was Jared Goff with a strong first half. His guys lead it by 10 as we send it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number Jake three. Jake to kick off for Philadelphia. Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. So here are the Rams to take over. Last week, they got a good victory over the Dallas Cowboys, and they are in the driver's seat here right now as well. lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll look to throw right away. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. They'll run. This is Brown. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get it behind the line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Well, they went back to it, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt they'll get another opportunity here on third and long. Snap for goal. 
He'll find Reynolds over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. And the Rams first That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. The Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on down. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of Locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen the guy in the game. You know, I've been practicing what I've seen. And he was just a good situation. Big third down alert. Lock in here. Fourth down play. Make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And he'll take this one for about four. Joe Henderson, the L.A. ball carrier. That second down play He's call was not the to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get into a manageable third down because they had incomplete shot first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third. Goal. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Complete to Josh Reynolds. 
It's a gain of 10. But remember, they tried to get the ball. Yeah. Yeah. The last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. Intended for Giants, second down. Incomplete. Second and ten now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Golf throw incomplete to Cup. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And it goes a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Goff throwing again. And that is incomplete. Sequence and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On is the punter Hecker as he gets this one away. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. The Eagles bounce at the one yard line. line. At their own They're certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20, but instead, it goes out of bounds at the one yard line. Now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. That's good. For an Trying Eagles. to find some space to operate. And now they'll have it. A gain of 12. A big first down to get away from the end zone. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Miles Sanders. Oh, pick up You're 12. Good. Second quarter run with a 12 yard gain. First half has not come down. easy, and neither of them like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. And all things considered, it's a they have to feel pretty three. good about getting that up with the game, considering the points that they just had against him. And this one incomplete. When Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Goodwin. Incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and it's another incomplete pass. Another Eagle. It's a game of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Down. It's Sanders. And he will be brought Sanders down at about the 43 that time. Tackled by two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise with the holes not where you expect it to be. But in this case, <laughs> and down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Samson Abukum able to get in there for his a second sack ball. of the afternoon. Third and nine. My career here, defensive coach always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. But they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. And that is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it, they got there, and popped it free. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. Set to take over again on offense. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. They'll run on first down. It's Brown. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up loss of a yard to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Side complete. That's Woods. Goss pass. Eight Complain yards in the completion, but now they face third down. It's a gain of eight. The Rams on and third down. They're at 50 percent. Four for eight. Here it's third and three. Back to throw. Goss. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard Reynolds. First down, LA. Got finding Reynolds there. First down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now it's gone. So that'll be caught by Cup. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Her cup. Six, six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four at the 47-yard line. Again, gone. We got a man over the middle. It's Woods. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Los Angeles. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They go with Brown. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Malcolm Brown, the ball carrier. Right, I've got to think this offensive He's line is going to be smart. The 33 on yard line. I know it sounds crazy. Three yard pick up. They practiced for this back in training seven. camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Complete to Tyler Higby. A gain of Another nine yards. Up through the air, and, and the Rams might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On first down, it's Brown. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the, the two-yard line. He was brought down by a tough spot spray. for this defense. You're down a for the quarter. Look at a little fatigue maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, I believe, because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We got him now. To Robert he's running out of 80 yards receiving in the ball game. And he's got a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They try and run for it here with Brown. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him three on the game the there. Second and goal. Brought down just shy of the goal line. Know that we're just going one touchdown. He wins a fifth here without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one. And he's got it. That's Cup for a win. Touchdown. Complete to Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Touchdown. There to make the grab. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Sam Slope. will make it into the end zone. That ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes just on and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now the more work he's getting. And 11 at the 22-yard line. Second down, here's Hurts. There's Jalen Rager, his first NFL Hurts catch. Down. Complete to Jalen Rager. He got the big lead defensively. It's a game of to get him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work five. on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And he connects with Hurts. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 with the 44. For an eagle. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. They bring him down. 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 Down.
Hurts. They get 14 back, but it leads to right third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, it's Rager. He's got it. Jaylen this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rose 39. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart. And maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. And that's been a tough slow for uh, the entire second half. First down and goal to go. So it's Eagle football here as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there, and now it's third down. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to pull up points. So Cole no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We're soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? And he's in. Touchdown. Jalen Hurts with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles get a score closer. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They had the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one to five play yeah, drive. Yeah, that would be a little more time than that. You're exactly right. And if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. But they have a slog their way down there. They got the touchdown. It's almost like. No good. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. To kick off four. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the foot. Oh, they knew they needed a miracle. Yeah, they had yeah, to have the onside kick. Yeah. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, what their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As He's a tackle stop with a minute six line. left to go in the game. So second down, and this defense is certainly going to sell out to stop the run. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Henderson will try to run for the first. And he is going to have the first down. And that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. It's a gain of six. And that ought to just about do it. It's a gain of six. So first and ten first now from the 30. You ready? You ready? 57. Mike, 57. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee when we had to go from east to west, our trainer Tim Karen said, leave your watches on East Coast time. Every piece of information we got was East Coast standard time. Try to psychologically tell us what to do, as well as prepare our bodies the same way. 